guys out there going cycling. They're going cycling up the valley that you drove through yesterday. Or down. I don't know which way they're going. But that'd be really cool. They're on a tour thing called Ride and Seek. Then they go off up the valley. That's so cool. They've got really, really good weather for it this morning, so uh, hopefully they'll have a good ride up the up the hill. So here we are, day four of our Japan adventure. We are still at the Kazurabashi Hotel. So we had a really interesting morning this morning. We were having breakfast in the banquet room in the hotel, and um, these elderly Japanese tourists came up to us, um, and they, they basically just wanted to take our picture with them as a sort of group group photograph. Um, so we obliged, um, we actually gave them our email address, so they sent them through. And um, we've actually received them now. I'll turn the camera around so you can see. So here's the first one. This is the group shot of us all together. It's quite a sweet photograph, really. You know, it's a nice picture. But what we didn't realise is they also, if you scroll through them, they also took these photos, which are just sort of pictures of us eating at the at the table. So that's uh, that's interesting. But no, they were really sweet. They were they were um, they were all over Sally saying she was really cute and um so yeah, that was an exciting morning for us, but didn't expect that. But you know, that's fine if they're excited to see us. Uh, we were excited to see them and excited to be in the general area. So today we are heading a little bit further down the road to our next hotel, and I'm looking forward to this one because I believe it's got a private bath on the balcony which overlooks the valley. Today we're going the other direction, so just down the road behind me. Uh, we're going to look at a few other things including the peeing boy statue, which is exactly what it sounds like it is. I found somewhere for lunch which hopefully is open. There's a few bits of conflicting information on the internet. If it is open, it will be uh, a fascinating place to see. I'm not going to say too much because Sally's stood just in the room next to me and she doesn't know where we're going yet. I'm hoping it'll be a nice surprise for her. So yeah, we'll see how we get on through the rest of the day. Uh, and I will do another update once we're in the other hotel, uh, which I can't for the life of me remember the name of.
walk into a bar and decide that you want to have a conversation about uh, football today because you were just at a football game and there might be two or three people who want to talk about football in the bar but it'd be very difficult to find them in this world there's a table with a big sign on it saying football and a... good morning from oh well, let's stop that making noise against the camera body Good morning from day five of our Japan trip. We are at the Ia Bijin. We're still in the Ia Valley, but we're in a different hotel to the previous two nights. It's just down the road from the other one. Literally, you could probably walk here. We are staying in an amazing room that overlooks the Ia Valley. I don't know if you can see that, whether the exposure is kicking in correctly or not. Uh, I'll do a separate video for that. We spent the night here. We had uh, Kaseki dinner again last night. We're gonna have breakfast in around about half an hour and then we're driving the hire car to Matsuyama. It's around about a three hour drive, so we're gonna hit a few rest stops along the way and um, just sort of take our time, really. We haven't got to be there for any particular time, as far as I know, so. We're also gonna call in at the noodle restaurant, which we visited the other day, which is just on the way out of the valley, um, because that was delicious, so we're gonna definitely go back there. Yesterday, we uh, had a really interesting day. We, we spent a lot of time driving as we went to see the, what they call the peeing boy statue, and we had lunch in an amazing place, which is an abandoned school in a small village. Found it on Google Maps, completely at random. The food was fantastic. It was really, really cool to sort of uh, walk around and see all the old classrooms and everything. And it is truly abandoned, apart from these few rooms which have been converted. So that was really cool to see. We then spent the rest of the day sort of just exploring before heading here and then relaxing in the, in the bath, which we've got, which I'll show you shortly. So this is our balcony on our hotel room we've got the shower there that's the only shower in the hotel so in the hotel <laughs> that's the <laughs> that's the only shower we've got in this room so if you want to have a shower you have to sort of head out here into the cold it's not that cold it's not too bad and then obviously you've got your hot bath here which uh <laughs> anyway this is the tub we had a soak in last night uh it's cooled down now because the water's not sort of recycling but when it's hot it's very very hot so you get to have a nice soak in there while overlooking the valley <laughs> 